Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up a guest network with a captive portal on an Ingenious Cloud setup. So I've been doing a couple different videos on this. I'll put a link in the description of my Ingenious playlist. Also, the equipment I'm using was provided to me by Ingenious, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. I'll put a link in the description to the equipment I'm using. And sometimes if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It depends on if I have affiliate links set up for it. So to get started, we're in the uh, dashboard of the Ingenious Cloud system. And you want to click up on the menu and make sure you select the network you want. So I am just have Oregon Network. It's pretty basic. And then on the left side, you want to click on the gear and click on SSID. And now it's showing I have my main SSID, Rick Makes. I'll click up on the upper right, I'll click Add SSID. I'll call this Rick Makes Guest. I want that enabled. It says radio 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. I'll choose 2.4 gigahertz here. Well, one thing that's kind of confusing here is you actually have to click on the label. You can't click on the bullet itself uh, with this interface. And security type here, I'll choose open. And if we scroll down, we have bridge mode and NAT mode. We'll just do bridge mode. Uh, it says enable applications analysis, advanced settings. Let's see what we have here. We have L2 isolation. So this isolates people from the rest of your network. So we'll click on that. And then you have band steering here. If you're using 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, you can steer it towards the 5 gigahertz band. So I'll apply this here. Okay. I'll click back into it. Uh, the next tab we have here is traffic shaping. So we can limit our download speed. So we have 100 megabits per second. Let's change this to four and we'll do upload four also. And that's, you can do uh, total or per user. So I'll just do total. Then we have captive portal here and we can hit enabled. Here we have click through chosen. So I've done some other videos on Captive Portal using the SkyKey controller. So if you look through my playlist, you'll hopefully find those videos easily. Just look, they have SkyKey in front of them. So you can look to see what the different uh, types are. You can do ingenious authentication, custom radius, voucher service, or social login. We just have the first three available here. I'm not sure how you enable these other ones. But uh, it says redirect URL. So we can set that up. I'll redirect people to my website. Click advanced settings here. We have session timeout, idle timeout, walled garden. We'll go to splash page. It says we have external splash page or local splash page. This says welcome. Click the button to join this network. Continue to the internet powered by Ingenious. By clicking on the button, you're accepting the terms of use. So this is a sample of the page we'll use. And then we have schedule. So you can say what time of day you want this to be enabled. So we'll hit apply here. And now we have two networks. We have the Rick Makes Network and Rick Makes Guest. So now I'm going to choose this network and we'll see the captive portal come up. Okay, so here's the portal. It says, welcome, click the button below to join this network. I'll click continue to internet. And now it's landing on my website. So I can click done. And now I can surf the internet. So I'll go do a speed test. So I'm at speedtest.net, I'll hit go. And here you see we're getting 3.7 megabits per second. And we specified that it can't go over four, so this is what you would expect. We should see the same on the upload too. There we go, we're seeing about the same. So that's how you set up a guest network with Captive Portal on the Ingenious Cloud system. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.